Hello. Yeah, it is windy day in Chicago, as y'all can see. And cold. Today it is 45 degrees and it is cold. And I just voted. Did you vote? <laughs> so, my topic for today is not about voting. <laughs> um, just wanted to share. So, I haven't been on YouTube in a while, you all. Haven't been on here in a while. And uh, the reason why um, is I'm a student. And um, I still do all my little, you know, side hustles. Now I've gained um, some hustles. I got Uber and Lyft under my belt now. And um, I've just been having a lot going on as far as bills, work, school. So I haven't had the chance to come on to YouTube and make any uh, updated videos. But I decided to do one today. I'm sitting here in the parking lot and, you know, just pretty much thought about you guys. And wanting to come on and just share my experience with school. So I'm in school for uh, MRI. So um, probably wonder MRI. What does MRI do? And I'm pretty sure some of you all probably heard of it. Um, MRI is basically what you get if you may have broken something or you may have fractured something or maybe they're trying to diagnose something or maybe they're trying to rule out something so they do an MRI so that they can look further in detail at whatever anatomy of the body it is and um, diagnose or rule out so um, my experience with MRI school well number one let me tell you where I'm at so um, I go to a school downtown called Midwestern Career College and um, this school is an accredited school, definitely accredited. I had to make sure, you know, um, looking at how much I was spending to go to the school. <laughs> uh, it is accredited. Um, and it is an 18-month program. So 18 months, meaning afterwards, you not only sit for your boards and take your license and exam, but you also get a degree. Woo! <laughs> so the degree that you get is an associate's degree. Um, and your associate's degree will be in applied science. And so, um, excuse me, I'm putting on makeup and all that stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, the associate's degree will be in applied science. And you'll be able to use that degree to work as an entry-level MRI technologist. So what does that mean? So basically, um, what that means is you'll be able to um, accept patients in whatever facility you're in, whether it be outpatient or inpatient. You will be able to accept patients in and uh, based on appointments um, or wherever you work at, whatever the protocol is, and you'll be working under the supervision of the radiologist. And basically, you'll be putting the patient on the table. You'll be actually um, putting the coils, whatever it is that they're getting scanned. You'll be putting them in a machine. You'll be doing an actual scan. And you'll be writing up a, a report of your findings. Now, as an MRI technologist, I cannot and will not be able to tell you what I see. But I will be able to see everything. And so... Um, there will be times where you will see things from patients and it will really make you really sad. But, you know, they teach you how to be professional and how to not say things that hint towards, you know, something's wrong. So anyways, um, that's pretty much what I'll be doing. So, um, I don't know if there's anyone interested in going to MRI school um and wanting to know the benefits the pay how much work it takes to do it and all that stuff so i'm going to give you a little bit of my background to kind of help you to see um some things so my background is in healthcare. i'm a cna i'm a phlebotomist and y'all know i'm hustler too hustler on the side <laughs> and um I, I didn't graduate from high school. I have my GED. Yes, I have my GED. Um, 
I have been dedicated and in this program for a little bit over a year now, going faithfully, <laughs> literally going faithfully. Um, and this program has been on a scale of one to 10 of difficulty. I would say it's been about a six or a seven. And the reason why I say that is because, um, yes, my background is in health in healthcare, but the physics part is what gets you. Quantum physics is not easy. Quantum physics is as if you're learning a new language, like French or something, or Chinese, Mandarin. You know, it's like speaking a whole new language, and you have to, like, learn it. You have to adapt to it. You got to learn it in order to be able to um, understand and be able to re-explain it back, be able to take tests and you know, past those. So, so far, I'm in my third semester. And, um, so far, uh, my GPA is 3.56. It was a 3.75, but I ended up getting a C in anatomy and physiology. So, um, anatomy and physiology for me was difficult. The anatomy part was easy, but the physiology part for me was very difficult. So, I'm thankful in my sectional anatomy class that I have this semester is more of labeling and identifying. I'm very much more able to do that. But with the physiology part and learning what part what part of the blood flows through here and then it comes out and go through there and then it goes into here and then it comes back and go through here. It's like, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> so the anatomy part is definitely easy for me. If you're good at A&P, you'll rock this MRI. Um, so basically, like I said, it's been to some level of difficulty for me because of the quantum physics and learning about the MRI machines and learning about um, the different field strengths, learning about the different coils, learning about um, the different frequencies, radio frequencies and um, uh, SNRs and um, different weightings of images. And, um, it's a lot of information. You'll be sitting there looking like, you know, so I got through it though. Just like you could get through it. Um, so, going to pay. How much does an MRI technologist start off out the gate after you take your licensing exam? After you, um, you know, graduate, all that stuff, you get a job. How much do you start off? So, just the entry level MRI technologist here in Illinois um, at an outpatient facility starts off at twenty eight fifty. That is the lowest you could get paid. The lowest. Starting out outpatient MRI facility. For an inpatient or hospital um, facility, the pay goes up because hospitals pay way more. So um, I've seen a lot of job ads on Indeed for hospitals here in Illinois or in Chicago. And they're starting you off at 32, 33 an hour. So, you know, it kind of depends on, you know, how you sell yourself, your knowledge, you know, what you know and stuff like that. Um, so you could definitely negotiate. Um, but yeah, so that's the starting pay. You definitely get your benefits, your full-time benefits. Um, and MRI in other states like Indiana, um, they are looking for a lot of MRI technologists in Indiana. Um, Illinois um, is one of uh, the higher paying um, states. And I think California is the most highest paying state when it comes to MRI. When it comes to any, it could be RN, MRI, respiratory therapist. California, they paying bukus of money. But at the same time, look how much it costs to live. <laughs> So, um, you know, your yearly salary with MRI technologists being an entry level tech and coming in with just your 1,000 clinical hours, which is experience, which is six months of experience, you'll be making about 69,000 to 70,000 a year. That's just entry level. So, um, so basically um 
I'm starting to drive, y'all. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm sitting here talking. I might as well get to driving. I'm doing Lyft today. So um, I'm going to drive here to the airport and uh, see if I can get me some rides for today. But um, so, yeah. So basically, um, MRI Technologist, the actual course, is not an easy course. But it's doable. You can do it. It just takes hard work dedication just like any other licensing program or two-year degree program would take dedication study hard work study groups um, even a long study time you need lots of that to be able to you know master the program so like I said I've been in a program a little bit over a year now um, it's been like probably like 13 months and so, um, uh, maybe like, yeah, 13, yeah. And um, so I have six more months to go, and that's including my clinicals, clinical hours. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited about finishing the program and graduating. And, um, you know, it could get difficult when it comes down to clinicals, because you have to, if you have kids, like I have a son, you have to take time to, um, you know, have the clinical hour schedule to fit your needs, you know, of what you can do. Um, but you can't do a minimum of 24 hours for the school that I go to. You can't do a minimum of 24 hours. So you have to fit that in. And if you have, you know, your own place and, you know, your own stuff, then you still have to fit in your work schedule. And then you still have to fit in school. So you have school schedule, which mine is full time. And then you have your clinical schedule, which you can't do no less than 24 hours. And then you still have your work schedule. So you have your work cut out for you. If you don't have any kids, then you're fine. You know, you're fine. You probably just have to like manage your work schedule, manage your school schedule, and just manage your clinical schedule. But I'm telling y'all, it's doable. And, you know, when I had gotten into the MRI program, you know, I really had never heard of an MRI program. I was like, MRI, what is that? You know, you always hear about nursing, respiratory therapists, um, uh, nephrology programs, um, EMT, um, what else, uh, phlebotomy. Like you hear about those certificate or degree programs, but you don't hear it uh, too much about MRI. It's like MRI, what is, you know, you just really don't hear too much about that program. So, um, you know, I decided to look into it because I was looking for something different. Like I said, my background is healthcare. I'm a CNA and a phlebotomist. And, you know, I just kind of, um, felt like I didn't want to stay in the whole CNA, the nursing field. I wanted to go into a different field where you can still make good money, you know, but not have to work as hard, y'all. I don't want to work hard. I want to work smart, not hard. I don't want to, you know, be in a continuing do manual labor. That's how I feel it is. Manual labor. <laughs> um, and a lot of, and a part of it is, um, actual mental you know because you have to have a lot of education to be a cna but not as much as you do for a nurse you know but you still have to have that education um and you know i was an emergency room technician so you know you have to have a lot of education to be a, an emergency room technician you know it's not just basic cna you know it's a little stuff it's a step further so yeah so anyways i just wanted to share with you all um, my school and what I have experienced and if you may want to do MRI school um, you know I wanted for you all to hear from an actual MRI student um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or if you like my video please click like and subscribe to my video and yes I am driving and yes I'm still paying attention while driving <laughs> I don't want to hear nobody say you driving and you're on YouTube that's not safe no I'm driving I'm on YouTube I'm safe I'm fine thank you